He voices him! Good afternoon, morning, evening or night, ladies and gentlemen. Today, you're joined by the usual team of uh, Jamie, Alex and myself. And today, we are doing what no man has done before. We are answering the question of, is Madagascar 2 as bad as they say? Now, please. Or, or Madagascar analysis, or... <laughs> <laughs> is Madagascar as good as they say? Everything was standing up the whole movie. <laughs> Can you turn the audio on, please? Who, who is that? I don't know if she's actually... Yeah, um, spoilers, by the way. <laughs> yeah, this is going to be a spoiler... <laughs> spoiler cast. Mm. <laughs> spoiler cast for Madagascar 2. So, where to begin? Alex, you've probably seen this movie the most times. <laughs> it, with, it, is that fair to say? <laughs> that is fair to say. This is on the official iTunes. <laughs> oh! <laughs> okay, no, this is starting to make sense. So you want to start with Alex? Yes. So we're going to analyse Alex. Analyse Alex. <laughs> Alex eyes. <laughs> Let's uh, analyse the Alex storyline from uh, Madagascar 2. <laughs> I think it's fair to say he's the main character. <laughs> Um, Unfortunately, he's, he's got the the first line in the movie being "I like to to move it, move it, <laughs> move it, move it." I like to move the the first Madagascar movie came up with this this tune, didn't it? Alex, can you sort of hum the tune? <laughs> <laughs> if you grew yeah, up yeah. at all, you know this tune. Yeah, exactly. World famous. It's kind of the theme of the Madagascar trilogy. Yeah, it's the one consistent through line. <laughs> Should we just jump into the political nature of this movie? <laughs> the movie kind of opens with this emotional sequence <laughs> where, where Alex is kidnapped. <laughs> no, that's bullshit. No, it is possibly the worst and best animated film I've ever seen. <laughs> it is simultaneously the best and worst <laughs> animated feature ever created. <laughs> yeah. Tell her how much you hate her. This, this movie got jokes for the adults. Yeah. This movie got awful jokes for the babies. Yeah. I mean, full agreement with that. You know, really deep cut lines that only a real adult would actually, you know, get, get and understand. Yeah, I mean... What what demographic does this movie not appeal to? No, but let's delve into Alex, right? Because he's kind of the yeah, let's stay on focus. Go on, Alex, lead us through. <laughs> he's the lens in which you uh, kind of connect with this universe. <laughs> <laughs> You're trying so hard. <laughs> Please, let's just let's. I'm going to go over the plot line of the movie, right? Because <laughs> okay. I think I'm the only one that's capable right now. Um, so they start so out the, the movie in, Ma starts they start in Madagascar. In Madagascar, <laughs> where the previous one ended. Then they, the, the plane made an appearance in the first one as a wreckage. Yeah, they so fixed the plane. Done, they launched the plane. <laughs> like a slingshot. Yeah. And it one of the greatest scenes in yeah, fucking no, animation that history. That movie um, is the giant that the rest of the movie... What do you mean that movie? That sequence? That sorry, yeah, that sequence is the giant that the rest of the movie is standing on, like the shoulders of. Mm. Yeah, yeah, I'd agree with that. This this action set piece <laughs> that's in Madagascar two, Escape to Africa. It's a, it's a masterpiece in storyboarding, in uh, yeah, comedic timing, in a action uh, choreography. I think it's the only part of the movie they were excited to make. <laughs> 
All of them. Like you're kissing your sister. What do you mean all of them? The cast, the crew, everyone. It was right. full passion in in that. So do no, we all agree that that's that, um, the plane's return? Is uh, has more passion than the, the plane's uh, no. arrival? No. Do you really think so? Why no, is that? It does. Why? Because it's more. There's more energy. There's a better flow in the animation that gives you the viewer the adrenaline. There's that fucking beautiful shot with the the paper plane being thrown, and then it kind of. Follows through the uh, production, the, the production the, of the, the plane, plane being uh, rebuilt. I do not think this movie looks very good. It's quite ugly. The art style mm -hmm. is uh, not that very nice. I think it's because you've only seen it once. Um, it really grows on you. The uh, the art style and uh <laughs> so are we saying after the first the art direction no this is a thing with this movie the more you watch it the better it gets <laughs> so i'd rec you know what i'd recommend uh, now you've already paused the video watch the movie come back pause the the video again watch the movie again come back see if your opinion has changed um <laughs> every time we make a point go and watch the movie and make a point. <laughs> Is that is that because of the amount of times you've seen it? Yeah, yeah. I don't want to know how many times I've watched. It. <laughs> no, but what keeps you coming back? Why is this movie better than they say? <laughs> because it's the epitome of <laughs> like artistic fucking disgust. <laughs> it's like <laughs> just just complete bankruptcy of all things. <laughs> That matter. <laughs> it's like um, the death of all art. Yeah, yeah. It's, In a movie, it's it's so so cynical and like like I already said the the passion, the lack of passion that just oozes from this movie past the the first ten minutes is palpable. It fills the room and you can barely breathe. <laughs> the lack of passion. <laughs> It feels like uh, four or five shorts, like, combined into yeah, one. Yeah, yeah. Dance Jungle to Mad 2, which is a horizon line. Mad 2. <laughs> if I were to compare this to something animated that we all have deep love for, I think of, um... What's, Madagascar what's, 1. Not Madagascar <laughs> 1. We can't talk about the superior uh, sequel to Madagascar 2. <laughs> but... Which is... No. What's it called? Madagascar 3? No, not Madagascar 3. <laughs> the one with the slugs. <laughs> First away? <laughs> First away? No. No. The one, the, the blue and yellow slugs. What the fuck oh. else are slugs in? L lava. Lava Island. <laughs> fuck. <laughs> that oozes more <laughs> passion to me. And I've got to compare it because that... That movie is genuinely funny. That, that's an interesting comparison because they are oddly alike. In yes. terms of that manic energy they're going for. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. I can see the comparison. And as Lava Island is, is shorts, so f just quick shorts. No, that that is something, though. This movie is made for the babiest babies. <laughs> yeah. Like, if you, if you genuinely like this movie <laughs> as an adult, <laughs> you got... <laughs> you got what? You got problems. <laughs> <laughs> and I think that's a credit to the movie. <laughs> no, we're trying. We got to start. We got to go through the characters, right? That's the best way he's going to deconstruct and analyze. <laughs> De okay. No, take us away. I, go on. I don't think Alex had any progression through this movie at all. His that's complete bullshit. His character didn't learn anything he learns, at all. He learns to be himself. He learns to not be racist. And he learns to not be racist. But he doesn't. His character doesn't improve on anything. They do, it doesn't go through growth. No, Alex learns that being okay, being gay, is okay. So your Alex's story is a is a coming out story to his his family. Would it's, you agree with that? Yes. Your first time viewing, you would agree that. What the there's fuck? A, other there's, metaphor applies there's, to Alex's story. There's severely story. gay undertones to Alex's story. Yeah, and that's okay. Yeah, I agree. I I think it's a good message. So it's, it's a really the typical, like, 
His dad expects a certain thing of him, but he's not delivering it, and he's delivering kind of a we well dancing a, a flamboyant, silly message instead of what he was expecting of the, the tough, cool, the tough, the tough solid fighter, big boy. Yeah. <clears throat> so he learns to accept his son for what he is. Yes, which I think is uh, just a fucking beautiful message. Yeah. Yeah, like, you, you can't... Wh when you take into account that this is made for babies, <laughs> that is a very good message to send. Okay, <laughs> that, that's most of Alex's message. That's... yeah. Yeah, there's, there's nothing more to no, Alex's I am story. I am proving mathematically that Madagascar 2 is good. <laughs> yeah, but that's one. That's one of the... the one, the, okay. The, what's the, five, the five pillars. Let's go to Marty. Ooh. Uh -oh. Marty's oh, a little Marty. bit more... Um, <clears throat> problematic, I'd say. Yeah, I'm, I'm gonna have real trouble, like, justifying this one in the context of so the movie. So Marty's kind of arc in the movie is <laughs> he kind of has a bit of conflict with Alex where he gets mad at Alex because Alex mistakes him for another zebra, kind of in this... Uh, well, not just another zebra, but all the other zebras. Of course you're different. How? Yeah, he, like, can't tell which zebra is Mark Marty because to Alex, every zebra looks the same. But then his he learns that Marty's actually black with white stripes instead of white with black stripes. That's not what he learns, though. No. <laughs> what does he learn? He, he learns that he bit him in the last movie and it left a scar. <laughs> so he scarred him so he can identify him. <laughs> That's a bit yikes. <clears throat> what do you th what do you think they were going for with that dynamic with the Alex and Marty thing? Was it? I think it was. A, it's as naive because we watched the behind the scenes doing the full research as Jar does. We we watched the behind the scenes and they said the reason zebras <laughs> all have stripes is because they blend in and you can't single one <laughs> of them out. Like they're all meant to look the same, so you can't as a as a predator pick just one right so um, they're applying like it was meant to be like a, a, a documentary sort of message you know <laughs> right. like like a learning experience right. for the youngsters and even though uh, it kind of unintentionally comes across as if uh, it comes across extremely racist alex doesn't learn to identify him by his own merits <laughs> he identifies him by the scar he gave him <laughs> So that message, <laughs> I'm sorry, I'm going to give that message a 2 out of 10. That's not a great one. I'd, I'd give that a 1. It's not a good message at all. <laughs> what the fuck are they going for with that? <laughs> that like, don't yeah, I, d I really don't know. It's it's because they didn't know what to do for Marty. So they wrote this in. So Marty is just like a fucking throwaway. Like they just all, all the <laughs> all, Every character in the movie is a throwaway character apart from Alex and his family. That's the story that... <laughs> It's just lazy writing 101, and then they tie it together with this fucking bullshit waterhole crap <laughs> to try and make it all, like, as if it's one story, when it's not. <laughs> it's it's a shit movie with with little funny shorts in it. It's, yeah, sh it's shorts that have to combine together to finish a fucking cream on the on the top. Gloria! So this is the, uh, the, the cuckold story of... Uh, <laughs> Mm. Of Madagascar. The cuck simp story. Yeah. <laughs> he starts off a cuck and grows to be a simp. Because <laughs> he can't get his woman, so he has to simp. <laughs> yeah, he, he learns to be a simp or, or die with the cucks. <laughs> with, the, with the cuck holes they have to dig. <laughs> yeah, yeah, the cuck holes. <laughs> we haven't really acknowledged the fact that the film is set in Africa, so they find themselves in a weird situation where, like, Ben Stiller is obviously like, you know, he's fucking Ben Stiller. Yeah. But it's set in Africa, so they figure, oh, sh maybe we should get you know people who are actually like African or African American to to voice the characters that yeah. are actually from Africa. So <laughs> Ben Stiller's dad <laughs> and mum are like these black actors, and it's like this really yeah. bizarre scenario. Yeah, that's that sort of. They they JK'd it. They JK <laughs> Rowling's it. You know, like <clears throat> if you want to 
act progressive, be be progressive. Like from the get-go. But it's too late though, because they already well, have Yeah, exactly. That's what I'm line. saying. Like they, they didn't do it from the get-go, and now you You have brought to light that you've cast like an African character as a white man. you you wrote this and you did this. You brought this to light. I might just sign up for the breeding program. We we were gonna talk about uh, Gloria though. Yeah, let's Gloria talk about the the, the uh, Melman Gloria dynamic. Don't in forget uh, Moto Moto. Moto Moto. Yeah, it's kind of a love triangle between uh, Gloria and Moto Moto, mm. where she she takes the easy road with uh, Moto Moto, and it's like the typical uh, <laughs> Chad. <laughs> yeah, Chad she, yeah, she goes for a Chad, finds out he's fucking he's he's shallow. Bitches. Yeah, he's vapid. <laughs> he just wants them huge and chunky. Yeah. Um... <laughs> And then, and then Melman walks up, who's about to kill himself, <laughs> and, sim and simps for her. <laughs> and just before he kills himself, she's like, "Wait, that was nice." And, and you too. Yeah, she stops him from killing himself. <laughs> and then, but but then then the true irony at the end is that you think they're getting married. But the, the the simp never wins. No. <laughs> the the simp is left to to, to simp. He's to just simp, left to simp. Yeah. yeah. Kazoo actually is getting married because the 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 main penguin is marrying a bobblehead. <laughs> it's fucking the, genius. <laughs> yeah, it is, and <clears throat> he's set up to be like a. S sort of the 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 top man, you know, no. because he's he's clearly very uh, capitalistic. So he's at the top of the food chain. Yeah, because uh, the, the a, penguins a... are this weird metaphor for like America, the American economy for some reason. Yeah, yeah, and because the monkeys are trying to unionize, <laughs> <laughs> and the penguins use the monkeys just like how the United States uses the 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 uh, China. Yes. <laughs> It's the mass of the people. Because <laughs> they rebuild the plane, don't they, for the the, the end. Yeah, because sequence. they have thumbs. Yeah, and the penguins don't, so they've got to kind of manipulate them. But it's, <laughs> See, it's... that's what makes this movie a masterpiece. <laughs> what do you mean? Is it, is it also the, not like a metaphor heavy... for slavery? Well, yeah, the heavy political undertones. <laughs> it's like you not think the, it's very fucking no, confused. It's extremely confused. It, <laughs> it, but my theory is that the movie what is so vapid and empty of passion <laughs> that the writers unknowingly made it extremely political. Like they had to put something in there. It's so vapid of everything else. Like they they just rammed it in there. They needed something to hold on to, to like, act as if they were. <laughs> so going back the to the uh, Gloria and Mel, yeah, so, <laughs> yeah. the fucking uh, relationship arc that they go through. Mm. Um, <clears throat> do you think there's anything kind of concerning about this idea that the only uh, female character in the movie is like? <laughs> Join the mating program, <laughs> so I can have children. Yeah, yeah, that's, that's all I'm super worth. not cool. I might just sign up for the, the fun out. Yeah, like the the woman's only character arc is that she wants babies. I guess <laughs> she wants a mate. A hot it, stud in moto. <laughs> <clears throat> I'm gonna look up the uh, the writers of the movie and see if any of them are female. I'm gonna give you a good gamble and say that's a no. I'd honestly say the cuckold story is one of the main pillars of the actual movie. <laughs> In what way? Because it actually has um, some type of development. <laughs> like, no, no other part of it does. Well, the, the two characters involved there actually uh, have something going on. Yeah, all men. <laughs> all old men. Do you think this movie could have been released today? I don't think it would be released today. <laughs> But Madagascar Four is on the horizon. Yeah, but that's gonna be so different. <laughs> you, go, I mean, Madagascar Three, the superior they, movie here. Yeah, it's the finest. Well, they they the wouldn't. Madagascar Two stumbled, so that Madagascar Three could run. <laughs> but the moments in Madagascar Two that work, we haven't talked about the penguins yet. But they're the, they're the best part of the movie, really. Yeah, they kind of mentioned them with the. Uh, 
communist. <laughs> communist versus yeah. capitalist <laughs> like angle. But they are genuinely funny. They try to kill the, the villain of the movie, who is this grandma from the first movie, which they make sure you remember with the flashback. Yeah, yeah. From the first movie, so you know who the grandma is. You know, there's fucked up scenes where the penguins like try to like genuinely murder the uh, the grandma. Um, but in general, the penguins are the most creative. They have the best jokes. They've got the funniest voices. I that, In contrary to what you said, that's where the passion went, is into the penguins. Nothing yeah, else has yeah, the passion, yeah, but yeah. all in penguins. Yeah, it's, it's all in the penguins with the flick knife, and the flick knife joke, the incest joke. All the best jokes are <laughs> penguins. Terminator. Like. Excuse me. This movie would make you want a penguins movie. And then the penguins movie came out. <laughs> Did it actually come out? Yeah. Yeah, John Malkovich was an octopus. <laughs> Yeah, and Benedict Cumberbatch was a cool wolf. <laughs> <laughs> is that a good movie? No. But do you know what it is? It's the Penguin mo- TV show <laughs> that came out that. Have you seen good. that? Yes, I have seen it. Is it good? Yeah, one of them disappear and they've got to sneak into someone's house, penthouse in New York, and get him back. Quite interesting. <laughs> I found it quite hilarious at times. Which Madagascar 2 got a no laugh rating from me. <laughs> That's bullshit. Though. Yeah, that is. Bullshit. I recorded your reaction the whole time, and you laughed every time the penguins are on screen. Penguins ain't ain't ain't. I, the penguins make the movie a probably solid eight out of ten. <laughs> without, <laughs> we're going. I, like a I agree. Without four, without them, they easy. literally double the rating. Yes. Yeah. And all of the clever bits using animation all happens when they're. Yeah, without the penguins, it would be a 5 out of 10. It'd be so, but with it, them, it makes up. it a 10. <laughs> hold up. That intro bit. After the emotional, like, Alex kidnap bit. Yeah, yeah. But when they're all, like, dancing, and there's the huge crowd, there is this... The, 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 the Melman, the giraffe, is, like, dancing with these things around his neck. And he's like, <laughs> dude, the animation is insane. It looks awesome. <laughs> Every time I watch this movie, which this has got to be my sixth, seventh time. <laughs> um, this is my first, mine. This must my be first. my 45th or something. <laughs> that is the bit I look forward to. When With the introduction of the main characters where they all kind of dance on screen and they're all making their yeah, initial debut. It feels like, you know, when you're playing like Fortnite or Apex Legends. Or Call of Duty Warzone. <laughs> When you're in the when pre- you jump out of the battle in, bus. No, when you're in the pregame lobby, it's like the hype build up bit. <laughs> and then they get into the battle bus and they fucking go. The battle bus sequence is actually so fun. No, yeah, it is, but what I'm saying is like this the 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 whole first I I, I guess it's the first act of the movie. Bar the the baby at sea bit. That shit is a masterpiece. Just release that. For, put that in theatres for five that quid. F- yeah. Dude, that's a 10 out of 10. I'm going to go as far to say that the plane sequence in this movie is the single best piece of animation ever fucking created by humans. I I couldn't really disagree. I would disagree. Because the scene in the third movie far surpasses no, no, no. the plane scene. From the, from the second that like that joke where the, the plane gets launched and it like falls into the trees. Mm-hmm. And then comes flying out. Just pure absurdist. That shit is funny. I'm sorry. Yeah, it's, I'm sorry. It's funny. I'm sorry. And it's then, funny. and then from that moment up until the the plane crash stops, just perfect filmmaking. Like you know, Steven Spielberg's been involved with this shit. Yeah, fuck the Coen Brothers. Fuck anyone important. No, it's Spielberg saying, "Hello, I'm still <laughs> here." <laughs> We haven't even fucking case. mentioned Makunga. Who's Makunga? <laughs> that boss baby. Alex! <laughs> no, that's Alec. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> Alex. Oh. Yeah, Alec Baldwin is in this movie. <laughs> One of the insufferable parts of the movie. What do you mean? I fucking hated it. What did you hate? Hated Makunga? him? Yes. What's wrong with Makunga? It's unbelievably predictable. <laughs> the most predictable character. <laughs> You know the everything Lion is going to happen. The Lion King fucking copied. <laughs> <laughs> Wait, hold up, what? 
Oh, he's Scar. He's Scar <laughs> from the Lion King. <laughs> no, I. He's Scar, but cringe. <laughs> I. I know you. I know you've never liked Alec Baldwin in this movie. <laughs> I think and a better. It's clear I think you it's don't. really funny. <laughs> <laughs> no, that's that's my point. I think he's perfect. <laughs> I think this movie would be worse if he wasn't in it. I think the movie is cringier with him. He makes it worse. Yeah, but if... <laughs> That's why it's good. <laughs> the fact the boss baby is the fella. Yeah. And because the the fact the boss baby is out now makes it better as well. You know, it's like the... The ground that Madagascar 2 built... With this fucking character design that is like just DreamWorks Scar. Yeah. This fucking Elvis hair. <laughs> yeah, but that shit cool. <laughs> they think it's so like fucking like sharp to have this fucking yeah, Elvis yeah. like <laughs> exaggerated character. <clears throat> and it's just, it's just the Alex storyline is just the Lion King. Pretty much. Yeah. Yeah, but it's like... No, it is. <laughs> it's been a long time since I've seen The Lion King. The, but there, the latest Lion King I saw was the Disney remake, and that, that shit is worse than this fucking film. <laughs> I was going to ask, how did both of those stack up, given the... No, Madagascar 2 is better than the new Lion King. <laughs> it's also pretty <laughs> and I... better looking. No, it's not. It looks worse. It sounds worse. No, it looks better. <laughs> no, Madagascar no, 2 the, looks better than Lion. Madagascar 2 looks better than the new Lion King. <laughs> yes. <laughs> yes. Without a doubt in my mind. No one disagrees with that. It's got more passion. It's got more beauty. Yes. It's got more more humor. Energy. More humor, more energy, more character. More emotion. Everything it that does movie have more needs. emotion. We haven't mentioned um, King Julian and Maurice and Mort yet. Yeah. Because they're quite a crucial aspect. They're actually really important to the story um with the kind of apocalyptic scenario where there's this there's this dam that gets blocked well and built by the humans wait, can i just go through chronologically like the the different threads of this movie of course you can so movie starts alex goes missing blah 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 alex and pals get back wait no that's not how so it goes get back to africa get back to africa yeah no but no Alex goes missing as a child, ends up in yeah, but New I'm, York. I'm I'm gonna go through this as speedy as possible. Mm -hmm. Speed, okay, go. So so he he they get back to Africa. <laughs> Storyline one. Uh, zebra, not zebra. Sorry, a uh, giraffe becomes a doctor, a, a witch, witch doctor, doctor, and then thinks he's gonna die. <laughs> so he Stor becomes a simp. Yeah, we've we've done that. <laughs> Story number two, the the hippo wants, wants some, baby. Wa yeah, wants wants some D, <laughs> and goes to Moto Moto. Yeah, and <laughs> and those stories collide in a sec. Okay, s other story. Marty finds his people. His hood. Marty finds his people. Gets mistaken. <laughs> That's so true. <laughs> <laughs> Story number three: <laughs> King Julian tries to become the new leader. He become he tries to become like a dictator. Yeah. <laughs> Story number four: the penguins want to rebuild <laughs> a plane. The plane. So they attack some humans <laughs> to get the materials. To get the materials from their cars. The, the same humans, humans from the first movie. The same humans from the first movie who then go and build a dam. Because the old lady... Because the old lady says they're New Yorkians. Story number five, <laughs> Alex the Lion... Comes out. Comes out, is a dancer, not a fighter. <laughs> and gets beaten in the fight and banished, so his parents leave as well, who were the king king and queen previously. Mm -hmm. All of these put together means there's no water in the waterhole left. Because of the humans. Because the humans built because the dam. Of the because of the penguins. <laughs> the yeah, whole yeah, story yeah, yeah. is the pen is just is guided by penguins. <laughs> That's the case of the first movie, the second movie, and the third movie. 
take the penguins out and there's no story. Exactly. But then going on from that, because of King Julian, he he sort of starts a cult because everyone's desperate now for water. Sorry, story number six before <laughs> we get into that. Mort falls off the plane when trying to chase King Julian and then gets chased by a shark onto <laughs> Africa. <laughs> to a volcano. <laughs> we'll get there. <laughs> King Julian starts this cult where he says if we sacrifice someone then it's like a Mayan type stereotype yeah Ste doomsday so if they sacrifice this. someone who Melman wants to be sacrificed because he, he thinks he's to gonna die so, he's gonna so he, he simps extra hard before he's gonna die <laughs> and then becomes a sacrifice becomes the sacrifice that should bring back the water according to Julian <laughs> this doesn't work no sorry <laughs> <laughs> Fuck me. Um, the hippo. Gloria falls over. Gloria wants Moto Moto. Melman simps extra hard. And then she wants Melman. He white knights, is what he does. <laughs> he, yeah, he white knights. <laughs> and the Chad falls. <laughs> he white knights and the Chad falls. So he stops Melman from jumping in and dying and bringing the water, supposedly. And they <laughs> together. Fly the plane. Okay. If it's not Pause a plane there. at this point, it's a helicopter. Marty and Alex get back to <laughs> team up again because Alex proves that he can distinguish Marty from his people. So he has, he's not racist. He has a speech. Yeah. He has a, a speech about how Marty is a dreamer, so he wants to get out of the hood. Yeah. And he, be yeah. a dreamer. So they go to get the water back. They break, they're supposed to get, yeah. And, and then they find out it's a dam. Yeah. Made by the lady. Made so by the grand. The, the, the Gloria the, the flies a plane. No, because Alex gets captured. Yeah, that's right. Alex, Alex gets, gets captured, captured and his, along with his dad, I guess. And they, te they like, team up to dance their way out no. of the situation, teaching Alex's no. father that it's okay to be a dancer. No, because mm -hmm. his dad gets lied to by Alec Baldwin and goes after Alex, who's already captured at that point. True. Yeah, that's right. So his dad In saves... In to get rid of both of them. Yes. So they dance together and get out of the situation. <laughs> Which is when using Marty's help because they're friends again, and the love interest couple fly a plane. No, but you're you're missing the monkey part. Now the the monkey part is honestly so the best part of the movie because it has the best. Is, is, movie. is totally inconsequential. No. Yes. No, they're crucial to the plane having the minions available. Because the, the, the monkey is yeah, the set piece where the monkeys make a monkey chain to save Alex and his dad. Did I mention the beautiful? Uh, Paper plane shot. Yeah, you, when yeah, they make the plane. Know. Jesus Christ. When the yeah, communists so it's make worth the plane. it for that. Mm -hmm. They storyboarded that and was like, "Where can we put this in?" <laughs> um, Doesn't get much better than this. And then they they slam. They they break the, the dam, dam and they bring water back. <laughs> but Ju Julian thinks that's because of the shark <coughs> that went in the volcano. Do you think this is a story that many children would understand? No. <laughs> Do you think they understand all the kind of uh, socio-political commentary? No. Or do you think that's in there kind of for the adults to, so to understand? I think, no, my summer? point here in trying to explain the whole story is that this movie is very adult. There's so many underlying political and social issues <coughs> that needs... What do you think the, 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 the takeaway statement from this movie is then? What's the political statement this movie's trying to make? Be an individual and be free. <laughs> 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 uh, no, I, I think the opposite. I think this movie is saying nothing. <laughs> you think it's using this kind of like I think it, it vague framing of like it the... hides behind being <laughs> complex and having themes to in fact have no themes and to not be complex. <laughs> I mean, just fucking nothing. Yeah, so it's, <laughs> and it it says all these things without. Telling you anything. <laughs> it's got no... All it has is Alex's plot, which is fine. No, it's not. It's fucking terrible. No, Alex's plot. Alex's plot of coming out is Of good. coming out. 
I think that is a good moral. That's the only thing you can take away from this uh, movie. Yeah, because the the Marty plotline is worthless. The the giraffe and the hippo <laughs> just totally pointless. It's a it's a good um, no, that's not prediction pointless. to um, twenty twenty society, the simp and the ego. This is just a, a storyline about those two. Mm. Exactly. It, well, yeah. Why do you disagree though? Why do you think they are important to Melman and the Gloria? Um, yeah. Their kind of story is about to uh, to enjoy someone for their personality and not just because they've got a fucking fat ass. No, I like that's their basic plot. <laughs> but how does that affect the main part of the film? <laughs> it doesn't. No, none That's of what the I mean. Actual... It's a bunch of different shorts, just like randomly. Well, yeah. But they try to make it into one thing. It's monkey. It's, it's just... a penguins do something side story for each character that's meaningless. So the only yeah, it's such is... a, a weird structure for a film. <laughs> like your main characters have no agency whatsoever, <laughs> and these four dibbies run around. But they're not even do... dibbies, though. If they, They're the whole storyline. They are the main characters. They're not dibbies. Alex, are they dibbies? Well, the penguins. Yeah. O- we, Private only one is a dibby. Th- only one of them is. <laughs> Private. Yes. <laughs> the one with the knife is a dibby? No. no so there's two of them, Rico and Private. <laughs> no. The, Rico, think... Dave, Brian. What about the main one? He's kind of a dibby. He's they're not all dibbies. dibbies. Yeah, the they're brains. all dibbies. Thank you. <laughs> I, no, I'd say they're all brains. No, they're, they're meant to be funny and cute. And random. And brains. And they and admittedly they have some beautiful moments. They've all the good moments. Penguins. Yeah. All beautiful of the best moments. moments. <laughs> the fucking old plane sequence. The pretending to be oh, dead right, sequence. The trying to kill the grandma sequence. Yeah. They got moments. They have moments. I just wouldn't use the word beautiful. <laughs> <laughs> I'd say they're gorgeous. I'd say they're epic. gorgeous moments. I'd say epic or <laughs> maybe maybe awesome. I wouldn't say beautiful. <laughs> No, you're right. They're uh, they're epic, but not beautiful. Yeah, they got epic moments, which is fine. So, I mean, we haven't mentioned the most important part yet, which is the soundtrack of the movie, the kind of heart of the movie. <laughs> Will I am combined with uh, Hans Zimmer. The two giants of um, mo- yeah, music of the, the day. So the giant of modern pop and the giant of m- movie soundtrack combined to create something they truly believe in. They both had the passion for fashion. So you, do you guys think, do you agree with me in saying that this is kind of the seminal example of, um, you know, musicals? Fuck the Lion King and shit like that. This is like actually like they actually put some passion in for a change. Yes. It without a doubt. Compared to stuff like Frozen, the shitty Lion King, the shitty Lion King, <laughs> this, Aladdin, the the musical complexity. <laughs> um, I've been around the world in the pouring rain. Feeling I'm feeling out of place and feeling strange. There was a few bangers in there as well. A few really... Yeah, that being one of them. Absolute bangers. See, I've been travelling, travelling forever. And now that I've found a home, feels like I'm in heaven. If if the movie sounded less... passion-filled and energetic... The movie would be a zero. It would be a two out of ten. No, it's, it would be way worse than that. It would be a zero. Or one, at the very least. The reason I say two is because it, if it didn't have the soundtrack, but it did have the penguins, they'd double the score, so it would be a four. Music so, plus penguins equals eight. What do you think it is about this this fucking gorgeous idea? <laughs> the, the, fucking, the penguins, they don't work on their own. They need the Madagascar crew to kind of come together, because we found out in the Madagascar origin movie that... It really didn't work as well as Madagascar 2 or 3. What do you think that is? What the fuck are you talking about? <laughs> the original... Oh, what? When when they go to, like, the North Pole or the South Pole, wherever... <laughs> I'm saying their standalone movie is shit compared right. to 2 or 3. 
where they have, you know, yeah, that's, they got that's Alex, the, they no, got that's Norman. Thing no, because... that's because they took out the stuff for the kids, which is all the other bollocks. They took out that and you just had the adults on Team Torch Penguins yeah, and that drama. isn't going to sell because adults aren't going to take themselves to No, but the movie is it. actually worse. So it's strange that a movie where the, the only characters that have agency are in a quarter of the movie. <laughs> and that yeah. works better than when the characters with agency are the focus of the movie. Yes. Agreed. Madagascar, I think, created a new formula, a new <laughs> genre. A new, a new format. For it's filmmaking. a real deconstruction of the animated movies. It's, a, it's just a deconstruction of movies, and for that, <laughs> I have to say it's... Not eight out of ten. It's it's a masterpiece. <laughs> it's an eight out of ten, but it's a masterpiece. Do you know what? There's something about this movie that has always drawn me to it, and it's the Happy Slappers line. <laughs> happy Slappers. When do they say that? <laughs> Alex is like, "Stop it, you Happy Slappers." <sighs> Who does he say that to? You? The penguins that are all slapping each other. Psh, psh, ah. psh. And he's like, "Stop it, you Happy Slappers. Let's get on yeah, with this." It always feels really weird when the main characters interact with the penguins. <laughs> It feels like the penguins don't even acknowledge them, and they just it's yeah, just like, like this. It, it is just two different stories, where the penguins really just don't give a shit. They're in their own universe, yeah. Yeah, they're from a different movie. Yeah, and it's like they're trying to get back to their own fucking shite movie. <laughs> what do you think about the um, the Western references? No, fuck that. Do that pisses me off. Yeah. Uh, it was not needed. It's not the Wild West, is it? It's Africa. No, but it's a little reference to, you know, that movie, Jim. You know, the one. The Good, yeah, the Bad, I, the Ugly. I know the one, but... The Good, the Bad, and the Ugly, you know, is referenced a couple of times, and it's this hilarious moment with the penguins and the grandma having a showdown. No, that's Deadpool shit. No, that's... Terminator. Madagascar 2. Have you seen both Deadpools, James? I've seen the first one. Madagascar 2 is better than Deadpool. Oh, without a doubt. It's funnier. Got more passion, more character. Literally, it's got everything that Deadpool doesn't have. Alex? Madagascar 2 or either Deadpool movie? I'd rather fucking shit myself than watch Deadpool again, but I'd fucking... You know, I'd happily watch Madagascar 2 again any day. <laughs> I think that's the message that most people should take from this video. Our analysis. Mm. What's that? The Madagascar 2 is a better film than anything Ryan Gosling has ever been in. Ryan <laughs> Gosling. <laughs> Ryan Reynolds. Ryan Reynolds, sorry. No, I'm, I'm in agreement. I'm in agreement. So to round up, we've got a movie that's got subpar animation, loads of deep philosophical Bullshit. points True. that don't amount to anything. What do you think about the character design, by the way? Terrible. What's wrong with it? Come on. I don't like the character design. Why? I disagree. Thank you, Jim. Thank thank you, finally. Now... Someone what, defending it. When I went to character design university, <laughs> they said, think about the silhouette. <laughs> James. Glorious silhouette. You can't fucking miss that. Yeah, well, yeah, James. You, it, four Madagascar characters. <laughs> One's, like, big and round. Who's that? Plumpy. Gloria. Gloria. Yeah. One's lanky and a long neck and f clearly frail. Who looks at the floor while he walks because he's the cuck. And, and that's and his name is Melman. Melman. And you've got the big Chad. Yeah, with the big, like, head. Moto Moto. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> and then you've got exactly. Alex. So the characters are good? No. The character design is good. <laughs> Doesn't mean and it's the animation nice. that that it's just beautiful. Yeah, the animation, the wide shots good. of the the establishing shots of Africa. Can just... I just say though, um, like the the characters for the crowds that they designed, why are they so like freakish? There's something about DreamWorks human character designs yeah. that are just really freaky from this from this time frame especially. Yeah. They could get the animals looking just fucking gorgeous. But the humans, there's just something wrong with them. Yeah. A little bit creepy, a little bit underdeveloped. Definitely. They look like, um... 
humans from Toy Story 1. You've watched Madagascar 3 multiple times? Yes. Have not, I couldn't even make it halfway through Toy Story 3. Okay. And that <laughs> means that something. That fucking proves it, man. Yeah. And that means it. Yeah. <laughs> We might as well just fucking end the video. If well, yeah. So, well, uh, I, I think it's fair to say analysis complete. <laughs> yeah, analysis complete. So, in conclusion, Evangelion is actually a really bad show. <laughs> Boom. There you go. Let's sit down. To what we have. And, and act things out and really see if we can feel the emotion internally. Coming up with dance moves for them has been really, really fun. Um, you know, there's a lot of dancing on <laughs> There's nothing we've missed, right? Yeah! <laughs> <laughs> I can't focus it because I'm crying. <laughs> I can't. The monkeys? <laughs> Is it as bad as they say? Is Madagascar 2 as bad as you say? No. Me? Is Madagascar 2 as bad as they say? No. <laughs> Fuck no. Absolutely not. Is Madagascar 2 as good as they say? Absolutely not. 100%. Maybe. Is Madagascar 2 analysed? It's analysed, it is detailed, it's got the JAR stamp of approval. Ain't, ain't need to watch it. It's got the JAR more. Media badass stamp of approval. <laughs> this gets a 10 out of 10 from JAR. Yeah. Give it the angry stamp of approval. And uh, go f go watch it for yourself. Watch our detail analysis and then watch it again. Yes. So that address, it gets really challenging. And also we brought just the thick, dusty, crashing dust. We have grit. There's like a million different types of dust that we discovered are out there, and we think I think we found most of them. Why, Why is this the dust matter? In the case of the <laughs> like our teeth. <laughs> 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 <laughs>